welcome back. Today I have for you a tag video. Finally, it's been such a long time since a tag video has been around here on YouTube. And Jacqueline Hill, who I absolutely love and admire, created the tag, the fall favorites tag. And I'm so excited to make it. My friend Melissa tagged me, so thank you so much, girl. I'll link her channel down below, as well as the people that I tag next. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. First question is favorite candle and I know, I know, you're probably thinking I'm going to say Marshmallow Fireside. I've seen a few of these tags and everyone mentions the Marshmallow Fireside one but I still haven't gotten the chance to smell it just because every time I go to Bath & Body Works it's always sold out. But I do have three to share with you guys. One of them is not a fall scent but the other two are. And first one is Leaves. Love this scent. It doesn't smell like leaves to me. It smells like cinnamon. Cinnamon? Cinnamon? Is that a word? It smells like cinnamon, but it doesn't smell like leaves to me. It does smell really fall-ish. I love this scent. I've gotten through a few of these, but I had to get the smaller size just because they still don't have the 2 for 24 sale, which I'm waiting on. But this will do for now, and I just love this scent. You don't even have to lit this candle, to be honest with you. Like, my room last night was smelling just like it, and... Next fall candle is pumpkin apple and I have to confess something, I don't like pumpkin, I don't like the scent, I don't like the taste, I don't know what's the hype all about. The pumpkin lattes or whatever other drinks they have in Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts, I just, mm, not a huge fan, I honestly don't understand the hype. I know many people are going to crucify me for this, but hey. I love decorating them. But this one I do love. I love how this smells together. I don't know why, but I really, really love the smell. Like, smells so good. It smells like really sweet, relaxing, fall scent. So if you're like me and don't like pumpkin, definitely smell this one because it smells really, really good. And last but not least, which is not a fall scent, I know, it's more of a spring scent, but it's my ultimate favorite candle ever. I wish I could like just bathe on this because I would, or even eat it, you know? This is the Duo Home Sweet Pea Pomegranate. Oh my god. Honestly, the best scent ever. It's like so girly and sweet and romantic. I've gone through so many of these. I usually get these in TJ Maxx or Marshalls just because they're super affordable there, but love it. Next is favorite lip product. I have three to share with you guys. They're very different from one another, but I still feel like they're very full appropriate. First is a nude lipstick from Urban Decay from the Revolution Matte Lipstick. It's the one that I have on right now, but I do have a gloss over it just because I feel like it went with the outfit that I have on. I don't know. But yeah, that's what it looks like right there. I feel like it's the perfect nude lipstick for fall. It's not too light, not too dark. It's a peachy nude, and I feel like it would go great with any skin tone. Next, we have a muted gray mauve lipstick, which I feel like it's perfect for the fall. This was very in at the beginning of spring, but I feel like now is the time to really rock this. And my favorite one that I found, because it took me a really long time to find a lipstick that I liked, that it was gray and like deadly color-ish, you know what I mean? It's this one from Gerard Cosmetics in Underground. My favorite Gerard Cosmetics lipstick, hands down. I do have a coupon code which I'll list down below for you guys if you want to use it and save some money. But if not, definitely try this out guys because the color is beautiful. That's what it looks like right there. And last but not least is a dark lip color. I chose a dark red. I was going to show you guys the brown that I used for the Kylie Jenner inspired look but I misplaced it and hopefully I'll get it back soon. But yeah, that's what it looks like right there. It's a beautiful matte deep red color and it's so affordable. I love Milani guys. It's one of the best brands for lipstick. I love Milani, Maybelline, and L'Oreal for lipstick. I feel like it's such a beautiful deep red color, especially for fall. It looks actually darker in my lips than what it looks swatched, but love it. Definitely check it out. And by the way, it's color matte confidence. Favorite drink, which is where the pumpkin spice latte comes in and everyone says this drink and I'm just like, really? But no, for me, it's just regular black coffee, which I drink every single day, religiously. I know it's not so good for you, but hey, we all have our little obsessions, right? I also like just regular iced coffee with cream and sugar. I know, I couldn't get more basic when it comes to drinks. Next is favorite blush, and I have two to share with you guys. I'm usually the type that when I like a blush, I use it non-stop or to like get sick of it, and that's basically what happened to these two. This one is MAC in Style Frost. It's my all-time favorite blush ever. I feel like it's perfect all year round. It's a beautiful peachy color with a hint of sheen. It gives you a beautiful glow, and I just, I love it. It's so like neutral, it's not too like bam in your face kind of blush. I also like this Matte Milani blush. I figured since I showed you a frosty kind of looking blush, I decided 
to show you a matte one and this one it's a beautiful blush for fall it's just like a mauvey pink color it's called romantic rose it's very neutral but still like very just very romantic like the name Favorite clothing item? I was so stuck on this question just because I love everything about fall fashion. I love boots, scarves, flannel shirts, oversized sweaters, leather jackets. I honestly love everything, which is why I was so stuck on this question. But most of all, I love layering. So I decided to share with you guys my favorite... Oh! My favorite fall trend right now has to be trench coats. I just love layering overall and I feel like a trench coat just makes an outfit look so much sophisticated and it just dresses up an outfit in instance. So I really love this one from She Inside. I showed you guys in the previous haul. I also love this one from Forever 21. I bought it in the spring season, but I feel like it's perfect right now, especially for the color. And I also recently been loving like vests like these or jackets like these, you know what I mean, with no sleeves. Love that trend. Love it, love it, love it. And that's what this one looks like as well from She Inside and it's washing me out completely. But yeah, layering is my favorite trend. Favorite fall movie, I have so many that's so hard for me to choose. I love scary movies and horror movies and Halloween movies. So basically every movie they give an ABC family. Also Disney Channel, the old Disney Channel movies. Halloween Town was my absolute favorite. Loved Halloween Town. I watched every single Halloween Town all year round, basically. That's how obsessed I was with it, so Halloween Town it is. Favorite fall TV show. For fall, I've noticed that every single amazing show comes on. So I have a long list and I love Empire. I just started watching Scandal but I'm already on season 2, about to go on season 3, obsessed with Scandal. I just started watching Scream Queens, not too excited about it but I'm so excited about American Horror Story. Whoa, that trailer, I just, I can't wait. I hope this season is good though because last season, let's not get into it, let's not get into it. Favorite Thanksgiving food, can we just take a second to even think about this right now? Because honestly, it's the hardest question ever. I don't know about you guys, but us Hispanics go all in for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for the holidays, for any family gathering. But my favorite food has to be anything with potatoes. I don't like turkey too much, so I switch it for like pernil or chicken. Oh, and I also love pastelón. I don't know if you guys know about that, but pastelón is my ultimate favorite food. Ever. Last but not least is favorite Halloween costume, which I have so many. I love Halloween. I love getting dressed up. I love just getting really like artistic in that side of things. I just get really inspired for Halloween. So if you have any requests or tutorials that you would like me to make this year, definitely leave me some down below because I'm so excited to start filming for you guys. I already have a few ideas in mind and props that I've gotten. So yeah. But to the actual question, my favorite Halloween costume has to be Princess Jasmine. I wanted to be Princess Jasmine for forever. So when I found the perfect costume, I was so excited about it. I'll post a picture right here. I loved everything about it. I love like the makeup and the hair. Princess Jasmine is my favorite out of all of them, obviously, you know. But um, yeah, I had my hair black back in the day. And now that I remember, I actually have a tutorial up with my hair, makeup, and costume, which was my first Halloween tutorial. Not the best, but I'll link it up below for you guys as well. So that was all for the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I love making tag videos. So thank you so much, Jacqueline, for making this and also Melissa for tagging me. A list of people down below that I tag and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye. Because, you know, disrespect is to a whole other level today. There's a dog barking downstairs, which it's like, <laughs> where's your owner? Where's your owner? Um, I love anything scary, so like, what the hell is this like piece of hair? That's cute. It just keeps bothering me. Whose dog is that? Of, oh, oh, did it get stuck to my hair? Where is the owner of this dog, though? What the hell fell? Oh, my hair's great. <laughs> That's another favorite for fall. Love it. Definitely check it out. I'm trying so hard. I'm 
dry so hard.